Hi guys, welcome back to a new video and I hope you're doing well. So in this video, I'll show you how to encode any type of files to base64 using your React.js. And those files can be text file, image file, or JSON file. And now let's get started. All right, so now before we getting into the coding part, I first uh, quickly show you what is base64. Okay, so now let me just uh, scroll around and here you can see that um, so uh, 64 base 64 uh, it's a binary uh, text encoding or decoding scheme uh, that allow you to represent or encode the binary data in the form of text or it can be an image file or any type of file as I mentioned so each character of 64 is represented by exactly six bits and that's why we have the two uh, exponent 6 or 2 to the power of 6 a combination which uh, equates or equal to the 64 combination of bits and you might be wondering what exactly does it mean and now let's just uh, take a look at this one here so the way that uh, any binary information can be represented as text is by representing a set of three binary character so three of this one two three of the uh, binary character each of eight bits so each of the uh, so this can be represented as a byte as well so here uh, we got eight bit here inside uh, one byte and right here 24 bits to uh, four six bit it's um, the basic four character so 24 bits so this all of this this is uh, 24 bits and two four six uh, bit so there are four six bit right here and that's um, what it means I can also quickly show you another one here as well so this is uh, from the Wikipedia um, right here it says that the each uh, base 64 digit uh, represent exactly a uh, six bit of the data that what I just mentioned and three uh, eight uh, bit bytes so like I said uh, one two three three bytes and each of them is a, a contain uh, eight uh, bits and basically this is a total of 24 bits then it can be represented by four six bit so four of this six bit um, uh, base 64 digits so that's uh, basically how it work or how it can be represented and um, let me uh, I, I won't go in detail all of this just quickly look at the website so this is a different way uh, or the way that we can encode or decode this base 64 and right here you can see that this is a quick example of the usage uh, the uh, usage of the function so right here we got like say a text and then uh, what we can just encode quickly just uh, use the uh, b2a uh, and then we can get the value of the uh, encoded uh, right here so this is the uh, variable of the encode name and this is the output of the uh, base 64 uh, basically this is uh, decoding this uh, base 64 value to the original value but again uh, this one this example this is only works with the uh, string and right here because uh, we are going to encode uh, different type of files like JSON file or image file then uh, this should not work for us and right here um, I also open uh, two tab here this is a different way of encoding the file uh, data form uh, from the import form so this one is coming from the uh, stack overflow now let's just uh, quickly look into how are people doing or how are they gonna uh, encode it into the base64 so here the easiest way is to use the read as data URL method and the hard way we can just use the uh, read as uh, array uh, buffer and this is another way and right here this is uh, they just show us how it can be done and stuff and this is another way so there are a lot of uh, different ways uh, to implement this so this is the solution uh, is another user use the uh, read as binary string and the uh, b2a and this is the uh, uh, function of that and right here uh, read to display the image on click and stuff so there's a lot of um, method that we can just use and this is another one uh, convert the image into the base64 string using the javascript 
and uh, for this one uh, using the uh, canvas uh, in the uh, HTML file can also be done using that one and then can just use the uh, two data URL and right here this is another approach uh, using the file reader and here is the function and another one is using this one right here uh, this approach, uh, the, uh, the second one is the uh, canvas like I mentioned on top of the page and the third approach of image from the local file systems and here is the function using the uh, file reader API and this can convert string or any 2D or 64 bits so this is another way of doing that as you can see there's a lot of way that we can just use so this is using the um, uh, B2A function. All right, so this is an error one. So there's a lot of solution to this. So what I'm going to show you is the easiest one, and we don't need a lot of code at all. So now let me just uh, open up the React.js, and then we can just start working on that. All right, so here you can see that. Uh, right here we have the uh, hide there, uh, the text and this is the uh, functional component and right here this is the text and also I want to mention that this is the first part of the video uh, which is how to encode uh, into the base64 string and in the next video I'll show you how to decode it uh, from the base64 to the original value and now uh, let me also quickly uh, just do the uh, input type and then I'll show you once I finish this okay so here uh, this is what uh, we got so far so here I got the uh, input type uh, of the uh, type is far and this is just ID and right here we got a function uh, what this does is uh, basically right here I declare the variable uh, it's called selected file and this is the set the selected file and you can see that it store as an array and right here uh, we have this set selected file so whatever that uh, we get the file from so say once we uh, choose a file then the file will uh, set it into this variable and then we can just use this uh, uh, variable right here okay so um, right here we got the console log so uh, before we getting into this uh, let me just comment this one out first and the same as this one just to make sure that we got the same as the uh, above as an example so right here this say this is what we got so far and uh, let me quickly show you here so we got the choose file and let me also do the inspection as well to see the console okay right here so let me just choose a file and right here we have the text file uh, txt the other one is json file so first let me just uh, choose the first one and right here you can see that inside the console log we got the number uh, uh this zero as the array and uh, we got some more information like name size and the type and you can see that the type right here this is the file type we got the state here as well okay so you get the idea now let me just uh navigate into this uh first array which is the uh, zero and once we have that let me just uh, quickly do that again. Choose the same file, base64.txt. Now we uh, navigate into this uh, file type uh, with the same name and stuff. So right here, I just want to quickly uh, show, uh, try to get the information, say like the name, the size, and also the type here as well. So this is the text uh, slash plan, basically mean the uh, text file. So this is uh, the other with the name, size and the type do that the same one here okay so here you can see that i can directly get the information which is the file name this is the size of the file and this is the file type so um, this is the first part uh, we've done that and now let me just uh, try to create another function where we can basically try to encode this file type into the uh, base64 string okay right here let me just quickly do that declare this as file uh, encode file to base64 just doing like this and right here we're gonna accept the file type which basically is the uh, accepted file uh, as the parameter 
and then right here inside this I'm going to declare this uh, reader equal to new file so we are using the file reader and right here if we have the file if the file exists then we can just do reader uh, read us um, data URL uh, which I also show you in the beginning of the video as well and right here we got the uh, file and down here it's going to be the reader dot on load uh, equal to the function Base 64 equal to reader dot result set file base um, right here we might want to set another variable okay so right here we might want to set another variable so say we get the information or the the, the uh, result from this then we're gonna store that information inside the variable let me just uh, quickly declare it up here okay so const this one would be the file base 64 string and this would be set file base 64 string equal to use state this will be store as the uh, string value okay so we now have that next step here uh, set file base 64 string uh, this will be base 64 which coming from here and that should be good to go so um, next one would be the so say if there's an error reader dot on error equal to function error and right here let's just console this uh, say this is an error then we just display the error right here okay so this is uh, I can just change this so this is one way of doing that another one we can just use the arrow function so instead of saying like the function let's just use this one right here okay so now we get the function so what this does the read us uh, data url basically when we get the file type uh, coming from the uh, right here the import here then what it does it try to read whatever the information inside the file uh, the file type the file object then this one right here the onload whatever that the data that is loading then uh, it will just set all of the uh, result which will then store inside the uh, file base 64 string uh, value or variable right here okay so now we have that um, the next step here I need to let's say uh, I want to show it so right here just quickly function right here so file base 64 and here I will use the selected file okay just like that also for this one uh, remember that we are using this as an array so we need to get inside the uh, this first array right here so this is important just copy that and then uh, paste it right here so once we have the uh, access to the file object then it will try to encode it with this then if it's successful this will be storing into this uh, variable now let me just uh, console log this one here as well so console this base 64 okay so now let's just go back and then try that again so right here doing the same one okay so here you can see that we get the value from here so this is the uh, base 64 string and now uh, once we have that so the next step uh, what I will show you is to uh, basically show this information on the screen right here inside the probably the text area okay guys so here I found the uh, react text area auto size uh, it's quite popular more than 2 million right here 
and now let's just um, quickly use this one I'm going to terminate this and try to install this uh, library and now let's just quickly look at this one so we can use the import this up here and then this is the text area auto size and we got different type of properties here so we got the maximum row minimum row on height change and stuff so now let's just um, see if this install okay install start again okay so now let's just uh, quickly import this one into the application we got that now we got this right here I import this up here the text area auto size and this uh, right here what I did is the maximum row I set it to 30 and the value basically is coming from whatever that uh, is stored inside the base uh, file base 64 or string and the on change right here basically I just call the uh, function itself so right here we no longer need this one and the, doing the same thing just call this inside the on chain function and now um, should be good to go and yep let me just save this go back and just try to select a file and here it is so now we got the information right here so this is uh, basically 30 uh, maximum row I can set this to 20 as well so press this again right here so this is 20 of them uh, the 20 uh, row okay so now what are we going to do next I would also want to show you exactly what is inside this base64.txt okay so inside the base64.txt this is what we got this is all the text so this is just a random text uh, about the uh, base 64 and I also ended this text right here as well just to quickly uh, want to show you that uh, this contain base and now let me just uh, quickly go back and try to inspect this to see if we have any errors or not okay everything seems fine we get this value so next one here I'm going to also uh, quickly show you a tool an online tool where we can just uh, use the information to uh, decode this 64-bit uh, value into the original value and then try to compare if we get the same result or not alright so here this is the website uh, base64decode.org so what I'm I going to do is to copy everything and then try to paste it inside the text field right here and click on the decode you can now see that uh, we basically get the text back but not exactly what we want because this contains something weird right here so remember that when you try to um, copy everything here without this front part here so what we need is basically coming from after the uh, comma and inside the code so say if you try to get the value uh, from right here then we can write a function say if uh, uh, after the uh, comma then whatever the value will, you will also get this part right here just to make sure that you can use this to decode it back to the original value okay so now let me just do that again right here paste that without the front part and let me just click on the decode right here okay so here it is uh, we now get the original value up until right here this also include the uh, space here as well so that seemed to be working okay so this is for the uh, text file how about the other one which is the JSON file okay so here I am I got the JSON file here I will also show you what is inside the JSON file so right here we got the example grocery with this information okay so now let's just go back and again just copy this up 
and from here up until this part copy that and then try to paste it here and click on the decode button okay so here we also get the uh, same result even though this is in the uh, JSON format and you can also do this with the uh, image file type or any other files uh, maybe YAML file and other type of file as well so I think that's pretty much it guys uh, for this tutorial we learned how to encode the uh, different file type uh, file objects uh, to the base64 uh, we got the string so you can use this to store it inside your database in uh, with the string type and in the next video I'll show you how to decode this to the original value not just uh, using this uh, tool right here I hope you learned a lot from this video. If you enjoy watching this, don't forget to leave a like on this video and comment as well. And until then, see you guys in the next video.